Hey, I tried, man. <laughs> I fucking tried. <laughs> Fuck. Because <clears throat> I had, like, my kid brought me by some cotton candy dabbage. I wanted to do a dab and smoke a bowl and do a live show. I don't know. I need a better graphics card, it said at one point. But then it said my stream health was awesome, but it just never was chugging, right? So I thought maybe it has to catch up like a movie. And it's like, no, it's just not chooching fast enough. So, anywho, I apologize. Fester Jester and Bear were there, man. Damn it, Tim, you goof. It'd be fun. I'm trying, guys. I'm so sorry, man. It's frustrating on every end where it's just like, fuck, man. I, you know, I should have been asking Cannabinerds he had a fucking. What, what's he do to shoot his? Because mine's fucked. Mine are like, <laughs> like fourth grade shit. So, yeah. Not pretty, man. Not pretty. I'll just have to do a little research, you know, like sometime in the next nine months. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, bear, man. Fuck. I'm sorry, brother. I'm gonna figure out a safe way to do that too. <laughs> Somehow, man. <clears throat> so yeah, <coughs> it's called cotton candy. <coughs> Came over. Used, they used my torch to do some plumbing work. Now I can cover up, you know, another spot of the wall where the hot water tank was leaking. Got it all rebuilt and everything. And now we're getting it all enclosed. And then we can make it all pretty and awesome. We're getting there, man. You'd be shocked at the difference already. I've already replaced them all the floor that was fucked up. And replaced all the drywall that they cut out. And we'll build them kit, you know. <coughs> get in there and make the walls flat again. And make them look, you know, texture where we need to and make them, you know, look decent. Figure out what kind of cabs. <coughs> so, <coughs> no sense in worrying about all the wall behind the cabs <coughs> so much, you know. <coughs> Just maybe fire tape. And... Oh, good. Fire tape's when you just not worry about how it looks, really. You tape it, it's one coat, tape and mud, boom, done really feel any perforations where fire can go through. Uh, we're going to button this fucking place up tighter than that's ass. Cause it's be my grandbabies and my son and daughter-in-law living there. I want it to be really fucking warm and safe for them. So we got all kinds of stuff we can do to make that way better. It's not critter proof. It's not bug proof. It's not anything proof. It's barely rain proof. And well, speaking of which, we got gutter work we got to do, and some of the fascia and shit and overhangs are kind of rotted out, you know, fucking starting to deteriorate. The place has been painted since it was flash painted real fast once in 72, probably. Yeah, paint doesn't last that long, man. <laughs> 30 year paint. <laughs> No, it's like a wooden house is like a wooden boat. Wooden boats, I, I know wooden boat owners, and they fish on them. So they're not just pretty boats. They're pretty boats, but they're working boats. And they work every year, and they go up to Alaska, and they work every year. And uh, some of them stay up there, you know, the boats. Some of them come back periodically. With, um, often Max Saners, uh 58-footers, stuff like that. So, uh, they, uh... Call it max. It's the maximum length, I think. Maximum capacity, whatever. Um, it has to do with the uh, probably not even the displacement. I think it's to do with the, the the length of it. Anyway, so uh, it's not the size; it's the motion. <laughs> I'd say. It, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, um. What was I talking about? <laughs> I fucking totally forgot. Uh, oh, anyway, wooden boats. They, they fucking paint them. They pull them every year and paint, take care of that fucking boat every year. And it's like brand new. It's fucking awesome. I mean, you've seen some wear and tear. But it's still, still just a working-ass boat. and Well protected from the weather, man. 
they've taken care of their investment. It's made them a ton of money and supported their family for decades. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, man. But the son was an asshole, though. Larry Demmer, he was a fucking asshole. He just was. He was an arrogant fucker. His family had money. He was a big native kid, man. I, I, he was a good kid on that, but he was like, they had too much money, I think. He just fucking really thought he was something, man. But, uh, so, yeah, sorry the live didn't work, man. Uh, you know, I don't have a timer on this fucking thing. I don't know how long it's been running. Let me touch the screen, then it tells me, I think, something like that. No. Fuck no. <laughs> Bashable, bashable, <laughs> bash a tea town. <laughs> Fox, do another dab, man. That's good coffee too. My wife has to. We got up at four thirty this morning. She has to leave at like six, six ish. She has to be there at seven. Kids get there, you know. They start getting there early, man. Poor little fuckers. <laughs> Poor little shits. <laughs> she's excited and scared. And she just keeps doing what she has to do, and I just keep telling her everything's awesome. Uh, yeah, life's a fucking motherfucker, man. It's gonna be a rough fucking month. Yeah, I'm glad I had a hundred dollar bill in my pocket when the landlord showed up. <laughs> Uh, but I explained to him how close we are to connecting the dots, so he kind of like, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm he's just like, you know, I used, like I said, I used to give him, it doesn't matter, I don't think you can rest on your laurels like that, I think you can trust me, I used to give him, you know, three months or at a time, four months or at a time for the first two years we were here, except summer, summer was where I had to put it together, you know, a little more creatively. Generally, we worked. I worked all the way through college, uh, except I think I don't think I missed a quarter. I don't think. Maybe the first one, because I didn't know what I was capable. Uh, so, if you're a new subscriber, you've probably never seen anything quite like that. <laughs> Smells like smoke weed. So, <coughs> is that distracting? Anyway, 
<coughs> I got a woody story. It's a prison story. <coughs> Used to have to wear ID in prison. Excuse me. And uh, I had a little goatee. <coughs> and it had a kind of a fishbowl effect, it seemed like. I said, man. <laughs> to this guy who ended up being a fucking weirdo. I found out when I got out. He was a child molester. That's who you meet in prison, man. <coughs> I said, man, look like a fucking wood elf. <coughs> oh, shit. So this guy started calling me Woody. Now it's kind of like, I'm okay with that, so whatever. But he started yelling at me, hey, Woody. <coughs> well, there was these white supremacist dudes on the tier, which, you know, I'm white, but I'm not all white, and I don't roll like that. I'm not any part of any hate group or anything. I don't fucking, and to not click up when you join, and join, and join. when you go to the joint is uh, difficult. My age helped me, and the fact that I have an old number, meaning I'd been through the system, you know, before, or had been there a long time, people left me alone. And plus, you know, people don't just, you know, randomly fuck with people. Well, they do, but I'm not a target, put it that way. But, uh, um, <coughs> I told him to stop it. I said, don't, don't do that, man. I go. Don't yell for me up from the bottom like that. You're drawing heat to yourself and to me. And like, where'd you learn how to do that? Not in prison. <laughs> so don't do that, please. He did it a couple more times. I said, hey. Well, anyway, this white supremacist dude. <coughs> and I say that because I'm not stupid, I know. He's like, hey, can you come talk to me in the shower? Well, if you don't know what shower is in prison, it's where there's usually no cameras, and that's where people usually fucking get down, get fight, and fight, or get stabbed, or whatever the fuck. I go, yeah, no problem. Because, like, either you go in the shower with this dude, or you are you might as well PC up. That's how it gets in there. It's like, all of a sudden, so all of a sudden, I either had to go in there and either get stabbed, or fight, or talk to this dude. <laughs> or, go, I ain't going in there, hey, guard, get me out of here. And that's really how you fucking got to do it. And so I've never fucking PC'd up. So I was like, how about, uh, uh, I, anyway, I go in the shower with the dude. And he goes, I hear a dude calling you Woody. And I, I heard you from Walking County. I go, man, you know a lot about me. <laughs> he goes, I go, he goes, there's a guy in Walking County. Do you know Jared? I said, wait a minute. What's this all about? He said, there's a guy in, apparently some guy in Walking County named Woody that was after him for killing Jared Fife. that I find out later Jared Fife wasn't dead. Dude shot him or something, but he didn't kill him. He's like trying to he's trying to fucking scare me. It was fucking funny. And I was just like the dude was all like he thought his tattoos scared me or something. He had he looked like uh Travis Barker kinda of with hair, you know, fucking <laughs> but way more angry. <laughs> but uh you know, a lot of fucking like, you know, swazis and shit like that, right? Swaz stickers and shit, that's what you see in there. Fucking, I've seen a whole back piece of like Adolf Hitler and shit. Like, what the fuck? Goring? A, a portrait tattoo of Goring on your back, really? You gotta be fucking ashamed of yourself. Anyway, uh, I went in there, just going in there, dude's probably like, oh fuck. I could have smashed, dude. <laughs> and I think he knew it. I was just like, his buddies had to be watching. I know his buddies were watching, but, uh, I said, no, nah, that ain't fucking me. Dude started, this fucking jackass started calling me Woody after he saw my ID. I said, I look like a fucking wood elf. I just told him the truth. I didn't care a fuck if he believed me or not. I said, so, I'm not the Woody you seek. I'm not the Woody you seek. But they left me the fuck alone. That's around the same time. I had started, me and Rachel had started writing. So I was really just trying to get to camp so I get the fuck out of there and go meet this woman. <laughs> so. 
Woody, you look like you need a hit, man. <laughs> look a little stressed out. Relax, man. Relax. You know what I'm fucking chill out. Take a fucking break. Take a little break, man. What? Jaws all tense? Look at you. Like you're made out of wood. I just shoved a piece of candy cane in my mouth, not even thinking about it. Ugh. My God, it's like cotton candy, too. It's really good in coffee. You know, kind of half sweet and a little. Cheers to smoking your own, man. And to sons who bring you dabs. And to friends in Dallas, Texas that are going through hard times that you care about. And trying to figure out a way to help them. So yeah, look around you on the comments. Um, the people you comment next to are like they're us, right? I see you guys comment with each other and there's warms, cockles of me all our eye. When I see you guys interact on my face, it's just fucking, I just leave it alone most of the time. I want to get in the middle of it, but I don't because I just want to see it happen. Very cool. Um, please do more of it. Consider them family because they are. And, uh, uh, Remember, love, peace, hippie grease. <laughs> you have a good day, man. Uh, if you feel like you can help, we still do need help. I just, I'm really not the best. I have to be really broke off emotionally. I'm trying to fight back depression, so I, I can't go there. But we really fucking need help. I don't know what I'm going to fucking do, man. So we got our GoFundMe below. I got Gord's as well because Gord needs help. So if you can help me. Please help Gord as well. Give him half or something. Maybe you could do it that way. That'd be awesome. Uh, my Reverb Nation link is there, and you can listen to my songs. And most of them you can download. There's about a dozen that you got to purchase to download. They were free, so some people got in early. Um, but get your stocking stuffers early this year, and uh, have a good day, man. Take care.